example, for Legos, works based on object detection. Google Lens, which you'll hear about later, we've been working on software and hardware together because that's the best way to on users, we just give you a call. It's good. It saves me five to ten minutes. Right to your TV. This is another. It's a little pen is that super low latency. Uh, Pressing and holding the button on my Pixel Book pen. Circling images. I can flip it here into we call this entertainment mode. Uh, I can use it as a tablet right here. And then um, if I'm presenting to someone, I can actually do it like this. What it allows you to do is really get those moments that you can't otherwise get by pulling out your phone. Because by the time you pull out your phone, you know, my son isn't making that goofy smile anymore. So this allows me to get those moments, and it, it gets me in the frame as well, because I've set it down and I get to be with my son in the moment. I think for me, the power was the ecosystem of products. It's not just about one or two pixel phones. It's about really creating a, um, a portfolio of products that is going to keep the consumer within the Google experience. And I thought it was interesting that uh, there were a lot of accessories that add to that experience versus just one single device. I think we are at a time in hardware where the software and machine learning and AI are more and more important. And being able to control that experience from top to bottom is very important. So Android has Samsung, but Google doesn't have Samsung. So if you think about it that way, where Samsung is trying to build their own ecosystem, they have their own uh, assistant, Google doesn't own that and has no way of controlling that. So they need to have their own hardware so that they can control the ultimate experience for consumers.